started. How many of your friends did you con into playing this? Include yourself in that number. Oh, solo mio, eh? Okie dokie. Well, generic contestant, pick the millionaire that you'd like to pound on. success story. He may be knee-deep in crap, but he won't take any! Hello, everybody, and welcome to Who Wants to Beat Up a Millionaire? Here are the rules. Depending on the difficulty of the questions that you answer, you'll get a certain amount of time to beat up on your opponents. The last one of you to remain standing is the winner. Now it's time to play Who Wants to Beat Up a Millionaire? In the Emancipation Proclamation, Lincoln freed the what? To give you an edge and to prolong the game. Wow, what's the rush? Were you raised by hummingbirds? Fine, go ahead. So, single player game, person. It's all you. <laughs> what show is this? Hey, final answer. All righty then, you went with choice B. And the right answer is... Mundo. Well, hockey puck, we've now reached the ultraviolet portion of our show. Oh! So cute. Wait, so what? cute. Crazy doesn't. Oh! oh. oh. Out! And oh. only half a mil. This reminds me of that Travolta movie. Face off. Hey. You've made a number of impressions on your opponent's face. Let's see if you can impress us with your knowledge. Your next question reads as follows. The American film The Birdcage is inspired by what French film? Again with the French. Is it A, B, C, or D? Okay, shout ahead. This is your moment. One or the other, here's the deal. We'll take away two of the wrong answers and leave you with a 50-50 chance of getting it right. Sound fair to you? Well, it sounds fair to us, so that's why we do it. So, Lone Ranger, you've got the ball. Let's see what you do with it. That, of course, will be the final answer. Okay, let's see. You chose answer A. The right answer is... With those kind of odds, I bet you could do anything. At least half the time. Okay, play a dude. Bring it on! Come on! Wait, wait. Come oh. on! Oh. Ow. Oh. 200k left! 
I feel like you're holding back destructively. You're like a psychotic member of Greenpeace. Okay, let's see what you make of this next question. Light years are a measure of what? Is it A, B, C, or D? So, Bella, it's all you. Good choice. Final answer. Okay, let's see. You chose answer A. The right answer is... A! Oh my, you got it! Wouldn't have put a dollar on that one. Oh, and guess what? Looks like you stumbled on a special weapon. Well, good for you. Let's tell them what they've won. Sure, egregious. And might I say, that's a stunning yellow tie. And I love the dollar sign. Who do you think you are, Richie Rich? <laughs> Our lucky player will be using the following special weapon. A Magnum of Dom Perignon. This expensive bubbly is specially bottled using the heaviest of crystal to guarantee your opponent's head will be spinning long before tasting its contents. I christen thee, the unconscious. Well, generic contestant, it's time to move on to the ass whipping. Oh, <laughs> oh. Thank you, Devin. Cha-ching! 100 grand left! Oh! Hi! Oh! Yeah. Jeez, Louise! You just beat his pulp to a pulp! Time to prove you're more than just a menacing jerk. Here's your next question. In Gone with the Wind, a character don't know nothing about what? Is it A, B, C, or D? Okay, shout ahead. You've got the ball. Let's see what you do with it. I guess that's your final answer. Sorry about that. Choice C, huh? Let's see. The correct answer is... C. Oh, you're right. Who knew? So, Lone Ranger, get ready to kick ass and take some names. And you know what? Forget about the names. Wait, ooh, 50K to go. So cute. You're so cute. Hey, Lily. Hey. Hi. Oh. Ow. Hey. What is it? My, oh my, a ferocious beast. Absolutely ferocious. Let's have a gander at the next question. Which of the following are visible from the moon? Okay, let's see the choices. Is it A, B, C, or D? So, single player game, person. This is your moment. Final answer. And for a hearing impaired, final answer! Okay, let's see. You chose answer A. The right answer is... A! You got it! So, fella, time to make the contusions! Wait, 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 wait! Try again! That's it. This one's taking harder beatings than the tabloids. Okay, you made his blood flow. Now let's see what you know. Hey, that rhymes. Here's the next question. What attracts male hoofed mammals most to females of the species? Is it A, B, C, or D? Buck, take it away. Scared, huh? Well, you chose to chicken out. Since this question is obviously too hard for you, we will shuffle the deck and choose a brand new one. Hopefully, this one will be easier. But if not, too bad. 
Let's see what your new question will be. The TV show Happy Days was a spin-off of what? You know, we should just ask you to type in your answer, but this game is modeled after the New York City Civil Service exam, so multiple choice it is. Is it A, B, C, or D? Okay, play a dude. You got the ball. Let's see what you do with it. No turning back now. That's your final answer. Choice C, huh? Let's see. The correct answer is... C. Yes. Well, hockey puck. Give him a reason to heal. Ten K. Little mama's oh. ball. Whoa, Nelly. Whoa. Float like a butterfly. Sting like a bee author. Now that we've temporarily satisfied our primal need for bloodlust, it's on to the next question. What is Queen Latifah's real name? Is it A, B, C, or D? Okay, shout ahead. Take it away. Somebody carved that in stone. That's your final answer. All righty then, you went with choice B. And the right answer is... B! You are correct. So, Lone Ranger, think of this as reconstructive surgery without the training. Oh! You're so cute. One grid! Hey! Please play! Oh! Let me guess. You're not a pacifist. Okay, no time for remorse. Let's look at what question is next. Eric Arthur Blair is better known as what author? Is it A, B, C, or D? Well, generic contestant, it's all you. So that's your final answer, huh? Well, not that I do any better, but I don't need to. I'm already a millionaire. <laughs> I'm just saying. All righty then, you went with choice B. And the right answer is... B. Way to go. So, single player game, person. The harder you hit, the harder they fall. Down to a single uh, hoop. Uh, Ow! Oh! Ow! Oh! Only one dollar left. Reckon you use enough dynamite there, Butch? Let's see if this next question is a blessing or a curse. What's the Greek name for Mars? For our Spanish-speaking audience, is it A, B, C, or D? Bella, this is your moment. Time for the magic fortune cookie. After selecting your answer, we'll break open the fortune cookie and see what it says. Then you can choose a new answer or stay with the one that you've chosen. Okay, pal, pick the answer that you think may be right. Now let's see what the fortune cookie has to say. Well, that should save you some embarrassment. Okay, now select your final answer. I repeat, final answer. I would like to reiterate, final answer. There will be no more answers after this. That's the last one, no more. Hence, the final answer. So I guess that's your final answer. And for our Spanish-speaking audience, your ultima respuesta. All right, you picked C. Hmm, really? In spite of all the other information you're going with, see? Go figure. Okay, the real answer is... C! Gee whiz, what do you know? You're right. Not quite as exciting after we practically gave you the answer. Oh, and guess what? Looks like you've stumbled on a special weapon. Well, good for you. Let's tell them what they want. 
Sure, Egregious. I'd love to. I certainly don't know how to ask questions. I'm too stupid for that. Our lucky player will be using the following special weapon. A box of Cuban cigars. Two dozen of the finest cigars in the world. All beautifully packed into a solid mahogany box that's designed to give your opponents una problema grande. Okay, play a dude. Why not go the extra mile and open up a case of whooping? Oh! Wait, wait! Oh, mama boy! Oh! Looks like he's waving the white flag. Well, he would be if he was conscious, but he's not. Either way, he's out okay, of the game. shout ahead. You win! And let me tell you, you made it look real easy. Look, I don't know what I'm talking about. They just keep me in a box and don't take me out until it's time to play. Who wants to beat up a millionaire? I'm a gracious villain standing on Main Street in the middle of Hurricane Lesson. The reason why you can't see me is because my cameraman has been blown 300 yards to the east onto Somerset Lake. Stop! There goes the news van! I hope you can still hear me. Now, most of you will buy your turkeys in the store, but we thought we'd show you how to kill your own and roast it right here on what? Cooking. I'm just gonna slit the throat. Oh, good lord. <laughs> Look how far that blood sprays out of there. Okay, the turkey is still alive at this point. Maybe I'll try to a quick stab to the heart. No, no. <laughs> that just made him more angry. Hey, someone get my shotgun. I tell you, Grange, you could have knocked me over with a feather. Not five minutes after Cootie left for arts and crafts camp, a light bulb burned out. <laughs> It's the one in the foyer near the ceremonial bathing pitcher from that quaint little Asian temple. Anyway, I needed a 60-watt ball. Or was it a 90? Oh, now this is going to bother me all day. A 60 or a 90?